Good morning, folks. Hopefully you caught at least one of the two videos we posted yesterday. Long duration M-Class Flare, big CME, with only a tiny component of it aimed at Earth. Since then, we've had only minor eruptions on the Earth-facing disk. There was a sizable one off the far side aimed away from Earth, and the coronal hole stream is due around the time of the CME. The X-ray flux chart shows the smaller activity over the last 24 hours by comparison to the bigger flare the day before, and for now, space weather at Earth is quiet, but we do expect that ramp up in activity starting tomorrow. Let's start the other science news with confirmation of the increase in global water vapor. This is fairly absolute, and yet it does not have the same effect on every part of the world. Let's look at the current and future projected trends in the U.S. flood potential to see that. We already see the breadbasket getting less rain and more coming east and west. And as we jump ahead to 15 and 30 year projections, the central dryness corridor enhances while the heavier rain amounts creep towards the boundary, a return to what it looked like about 100 years ago. Folks, Gaia's latest release is a stellar bonanza. They're able to trace radio velocity, proper motion, chemistry of the stars, dust, and more. Using Gaia's eyes, they're able to see quite well through much of that dust and bright stellar luminosity. And this not only goes for the thin disk where our star resides, but for the stars sort of hanging out outside of the plane, like the wall huggers at a party. Quite the distance off the center, actually, an impressive expanse above and below the galactic plane. They were able to make several new galaxy maps, all of which are helpful for galactic astrophysics, with a couple of those being even better for seeing the total galactic nested system than others. More order than chaos. And finally, folks, you've asked for this many times, an updated pole shift map. Xavier has added the last 10 years to the animation so we can see the updated motion of the magnetic poles. This includes the big stories of the last couple of years, one being that the North Pole has gone over the top. It's no longer heading north, up through the Canadian Arctic region, but is now heading southward towards Siberia, having gone over the top, towards Siberia, China, and eventually the Indian Ocean. Meanwhile, the South Pole has already left Antarctica, and just in the last couple years, an acceleration of its motion was detected as it heads up towards the Indian Ocean. Folks, the poles are set to meet near Indonesia, and the fact that they aren't staying on opposite sides of the globe means something important. That 40 degree mark, 10 months to flip, you hear from someone online is wrong. Total nonsense. Not to mention that it's been said every couple years for a decade by that same channel. Late 2030s to 2040s is the timeline, folks, and that's never changed. Not 10 months. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, the store shuts down tomorrow night. Most of the books are gone, as well as many of the shirts and hats. Eventually, we will find a new one not being shut down by Amazon, but for now, last 36 hours or so here. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 25 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone